Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this zebra, which was a request, but I'll also be using it on a jungle blanket I plan to make. The size, when crocheted using 8-ply wool, this one, is 13cm by 13cm, or 5 inches by 5 inches. When crocheted using 4-ply crochet cotton, this one here, the size is 10 centimetres by 9 centimetres or 4 inches by 3.5 inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got white for my main colour and black for the contrast and I'll need a tiny bit of pink just for the inner ear but you could embroider that on if you'd prefer. I've got a 1.5 millimetre crochet hook a darning needle, scissors and I've got white and black sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now I'm going to start with the nose here. So using my black I make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put my hook on my yarn and bring the short end over the hook and then I take the long end over the top of the short end and I've got a circle then I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn at the end through the circle and that's my magic loop. Then I work one chain. Into my circle I work two single crochet. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet you put your hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. And we need one more single crochet into our circle. And then we pull the circle tight. So we take hold of the tail and just ease it in. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work. And we're going to work two single crochet into each stitch. and we'll have four stitches. And that's the nose done. Now I'm going to join in my white. So I put my white over the hook and just slip it through the black and I work one chain and then I'm going to turn my work I'll just pull it in a little bit more and for row three we work one single crochet into each of our four stitches For row 4 we start with one chain and turn our work and we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch and we'll have four stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch and we'll have 5 stitches. For 
for row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 6 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. For a joined single crochet we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. And then we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 9 we start with 1 chain and we're going to work a joined single crochet over our 3 stitches. So hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got 4 loops on our hook, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the head done. I'll fasten off now and I'll weave in the ends before we start on a neatening row. Now there's the head with the ends fastened off. Now for the neatening row I'm going to work a slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'm going to join my white just after the nose just in that first stitch there and then I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch just up to the stitch after the centre of the head. For a slip stitch I put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook and I just find a suitable place to put my hook not too far from the edge and I try not to pull it in too tight. Sometimes I work a neatening row of single crochet but I don't want my row to get too bulky so I'm just going to work a slip stitch this time. So that's my slip stitch into each stitch to one stitch past the centre of the head. Now I'm going to join in my black to have just a line of black down the edge. So I put the hook into the next stitch and just bring the loop, black loop, through and straight through the loop on my hook. And then I'm going to work black down to about two stitches before the nose. And now I'm going to work two stitches with the white. I'm just going to pass it down the back and when I weave in my ends I weave the white in that's at the back. So 
so I've worked two stitches with my white and now I'm going to work with my black again around the nose. Just pull it in a bit. bit. And then once I get back round to the white, I fasten off. And that's the head done. I'll just weave in those ends because we're going to join our body just on the side of the head. Now we'll start on the body now. We're going to join our cotton in the back loop only of the fourth stitch up from the nose. So this stitch here and we work one chain. Now for this first row we're only going to work into the back loop of the stitch. So we work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. Then we work one single crochet into the back loop only of each of the next three stitches. Then we work a joined single crochet into the same stitch as our last single crochet and the next stitch. And we've got five stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into the following stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then into the next stitch we're going to work three double crochet. A double crochet is a treble in the UK. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And we need two more double crochet into that stitch and we'll have seven stitches. For row three we start with two chain and turn our work. We work one half double crochet into the same stitch, that first stitch, and a single crochet. So a half double crochet and a single crochet in the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches.
and then we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we'll have seven stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then into the last stitch work one half double crochet and then one double crochet. And we've got seven stitches. For row five, we start with three chain and turn our work. Work two double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have eight stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work one half double crochet and one double crochet. And we've got nine stitches. For row seven we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have nine stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each of the first 6 stitches. And then one half double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row nine, we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, put your yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. 
and then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each of the following three stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we'll have seven stitches. For row 10, start with one chain and turn, work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have eight stitches. For row 11, start with 2 chain and turn, work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 4 stitches and then one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and then we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 13, start with one chain and turn, work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our six stitches. For row 15, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For 
for row 17 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have four stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And we've got three stitches. And for row 19 we start with one chain and turn and we're going to work a joined single crochet over our three stitches. So hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. And that's the body done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do this back leg. Now there's the head and body done. For this back leg here we're going to turn our work over and join our white cotton to the back bottom stitch just in there. and work one chain and then work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over both our stitches. And we work one single crochet in the last stitch. So the same stitch as the last part of our joined single crochet. So we've got two stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over both the stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a single crochet into the stitch and then we work 6 chain. Then for row 8 we miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. And fasten off.
and that's the back leg done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do a neatening row around the body and leg. Now for the neatening row I just join just in there at the neck and I work one slip stitch into each stitch around the body and leg back to the neck. For the chain on the leg, I work down the one side and then into the back loop up the other side. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get back to the neck. When I get back to the neck, I slip stitch into the neck and fasten off. And that's the back leg done with the neatening row. Now I'll start on this other back leg now. The rest of the legs are worked separately and then stitched on. So for this leg here, I start with five chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining four chain. For row two, I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. For row four I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet in the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row five, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet in the first stitch and then a joined single crochet in the first stitch, the same stitch as our first single crochet and the last stitch. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both stitches. For row 7 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into the stitch and then I work 6 chain. For row 8 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches.
and I don't fasten off for the neatening row I work one slip stitch into each stitch around so I work a slip stitch into the bottom of the single crochet and then a slip stitch into each of the chain and then just continue working a slip stitch into each stitch around my work And then I work up the other side of the chain and just round the end of the leg. Fasten off. And that's the far back leg done. These two front legs will work the same. Using my white, I start with six chain. I work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook, a half double crochet into the next stitch, a double crochet into the following stitch, a half double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 3, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet into the next stitch. And a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4, I start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row five, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last 
part of the joined single crochet and the last stitch. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 2 stitches. For row 7 I start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over our 2 stitches. For row 8 I start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in the sit in the stitch and then I work six chain for row nine I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and now I work a neatening row of one slip stitch into each stitch as I've been working on the last two legs. So I'll work the neatening row and I'll be back. Now that's the first front leg done. The second front legs work the same. We start with six chain We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, a half double crochet into the next stitch, a double crochet into the following stitch, a half double crochet into the next stitch, and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work a joined double, a joined single crochet sorry, over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row five I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet and the last stitch. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 7 I start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both the stitches. For row 8 I start with one chain and turn, I work one single crochet into the stitch and then I work six chain. For row 9 I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. And then I work my neatening row 
of one slip stitch into each stitch around the leg. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get it finished. I'll weave in my ends and then we'll put on the hooves. Now the hooves are worked in the two bottom stitches at the bottom of the leg so I'll join in the first stitch and work one chain and work a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then two single crochet into the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the first hoof worked. I'll just work another one. So I join in the first stitch at the bottom of the leg. And work one chain, a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. and fasten off. And the other two will be worked the same. Now I'll start on the main now. For the main using my white, I join my cotton eight stitches from the neck. So in this stitch here, I work one chain, a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain, and then one single crochet into the next stitch and fasten off. Then I join my black cotton into the next stitch I work two chain one half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and two half double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. And then I join my white cotton into the following stitch. I work three chain, I work one double crochet into the same stitch as a chain, a double crochet is a treble using UK terms, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. Then I join my black into the next stitch. And work three chain.
work. One double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. Then I join my white cotton in the first stitch on the head and work three chain. I work one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and two double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. Then I join my cotton in the next stitch along my black cotton and work three chain. and work one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and fasten off. Then join your black cotton in the following stitch and work two chain. And work a half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and fasten off. And that's the main finished. For the outer ear, using my white, I work five chain. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one slip stitch into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do the row of pink for the inner ear. Now for the inner ear we join our pink at the end on the side that curves in. So just in there like that and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch down the edge And then we slip stitch into the last stitch. And fasten off.
and that's the ear finished. For the tail, we join our white cotton probably about there, just as the, the back starts to slope down. And we work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of our remaining chain. Slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the tail. For the end of the tail, I join my black cotton just at the end there. and work three chain and one double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and fasten off. We'll work all the straps as we're putting it together. So I'll weave in the rest of my ends and we'll be back and we'll start joining it together. Now here's my pieces. I've got the zebra, the ear and three legs. The first things I'll do is embroider on the markings just there the side of the face and I'll attach the ear and I'll work some chain for the legs. The top two I work in chain and these bottom two on each leg are just embroidered on. So for the chain, I leave a bit of a tail. I use the tail to attach it to the leg. Now that one will fit across the top and then I'll work one with a few less chain for a bit lower down. So I'll attach the chain and embroider two markings for the bottom of the leg on each leg including this leg here and I'll be back and we'll do some more putting together. Now the next things I do is embroider on an eye like that one and embroider the markings on the tail and then I'll attach the legs. This far back leg goes in under the back leg but not quite as far down so about in there then one leg goes at the back about level with the far back leg and the other leg goes on top just in about there, level with 
this back leg here. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back and we'll put on the rest of the stripes. Now the last thing I do is add some stripes to the body. I work them the same as these top ones on the leg. So I leave a longish tail to attach it to the body and I just work as many chain as I think I'll need. So this one will fit from this black mane down to under the neck and I'll do another one for before that one. So I'll fasten that one off and I'll just work as many stripes as I think I'll need. I did make a zebra with more stripes but I prefer to have more white showing than equal black and white. So I'll make this one similar to this one, but all zebras are different. So just do your stripes how you'd like. And there's the finished zebra. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.